The red zone may lack people, but it's buzzing. Bringing back bees to the quake-damaged east side is a Land Information New Zealand project which just started. I'd like to think that it'll help um, with the vegetation around here and provide a vibrant um, environment for people to enjoy the red zone, but it'll also help the fruit trees and the nut trees that have been left behind in the former gardens. This trial involves 10 beehives and over 600,000 bees. With it being the end of honey season, beekeepers will split their strongest hive into two and introduce a queen, in the hope that they raise the bee population by 60 a year. Around the world the bee population's falling. In the US, beekeepers lost a third of their bees in the last two years. So if you take, for example, the monoculture that they have in the States, they basically bring 70-80% of the bees that they have loaded on trucks into one place, California, where they grow almonds. And they wonder why they've just killed half their bee population. So bad management, bad farming. Helen English is one of more than 200 members of this bee hobbyist club in Kashmir. President Paul O'Donnell believes the bee population here is in a better state than overseas. And if you think that there's 60,000 in one hive, and you think of all the other hives out there, I don't think we're underpopulated in bees at all. In fact, the number of registered beehives here have increased by over 75,000 in the last six months. This country has the highest density of bees in the world. Our farming techniques aren't quite as industrialised as they are in, in overseas for instance, so we don't have the same degree of monoculture and sprays and stuff. Even though Hive Master Lindsay has his bees on the south side of town, he's keen to get some out east in the red zone. Last year I noticed acres and acres of clover for instance, and I'm, I'm thinking to myself, oh boy I'd love to have some hives there. It's not just bees they want, it's beekeepers as well. No, just join the bloody club. <laughs> <laughs> Zion Dale, Metro News.